All right, welcome back. Now we're gonna move from the grid to um, hiding and showing. So let's go ahead and click over here to hiding. And these are these are very similar. They're, they're almost, they're pretty much the exact opposite of each other. Um, I mean, if the, if the name didn't spell it out for you already, but uh, let's take a look at how these behave. Now on this page here, I actually have four divs. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, code underneath the hood here. So on hiding, so we've got one, two, three, four. However, we're missing the large one because how this works is we're gonna say we want this hidden whenever the screen is large. So only show this on everything except for large. And that's the case for each one of these, except for this one is only, sh only hidden on medium, this one's only hidden on small, this one's only hidden on extra small. So what's gonna happen here, if you haven't figured it out already, is that once we hit that first breakpoint of uh, 1200, the large one's gonna show up again. The medium one, however, is gonna disappear, and then so on. What's gonna happen, they're gonna keep swapping each other out because they're hitting that breakpoint, and one's gonna disappear and one's gonna show, um, the last one's gonna show up again. So let's do that, let's hit that first breakpoint. We should see the large one pop back up right around 1200 pixels. There you go, large is here medium's gone, because now we're in that span between 922 pixels and 1200. So as long as we're in that range of numbers, that medium's gonna be hidden. So you can guess what's gonna happen when we hit to 992. Medium's gonna show back up, small's gonna be hidden until we hit the next break point of 768. So let's go ahead and do that. There you go, it's so now all we have left is extra small, and that is gonna be anything less than 768. So unlike with the grid where extra small is kind of the end, end all be all, um, the change doesn't happen, you are gonna see the change here. So once we get into that range, you'll see all of them except for the extra small. So moving close, there you go. Large, medium, small, extra small, gone, and it's gonna be gone for the duration all right, now these are great to toss on things that you wanna disappear or you know whatever, if you need something to be a little different on a different uh, screen size. But I also want you to know that you can mix and match these with the, um, the grid rules. Um, you know, do it, do it wisely. If you're gonna hide something when it's small, don't set a small rule, that doesn't make any sense because um, nothing's gonna happen um, because it's gonna be hidden but you can still say change the way this medium behaves while it's not in that 992 to 1200 range. You can change the size of it, do whatever you want, and then whenever it hits medium, it disappears. Um, so keep that in mind. Next, we're gonna switch over to showing, which I'm just gonna combine this into one video because these are kind of, uh, these kind of go together. So showing, like I said, is the complete opposite of hiding. We only see the large, whereas in hiding, large was uh, hidden because we were in that large range, which is pretty much everything above 1200 pixels. So once we get to 1200 pixels, this should disappear and the next one's going to appear. So I like how we saw all three of them and just swapped one out each, each break point we should only see one at a time, okay? So let's move that in. We'll hit that first break point of 1200. Boom, now medium's visible. And if we keep going to 992, small's visible, and then extra small for the remainder, okay? So these are the basic responsive utilities given with uh, Bootstrap. These are really, like I said, really handy if you need to do quick, um, you know, if your design is not really intensive and you're, and you're using something and you're already using Bootstrap, you might as well take advantage of these while you have them um, rather than having to write custom media queries. We'll do another series just on media queries. But I know I had a hard time wrapping my head around how Bootstrap set up their utilities when I first looked into them you know, a while back. 
um, because their example was hard to follow. But if you hop over to getbootstrap.com, click on CSS, um, hop down to responsive utilities. There are test cases here, but it, it's so jumbled up that it's kind of, see, once you hit some breakpoints, the whole page moves down and you gotta go back to your test case. And by that point, you didn't really catch what disappeared and what was seen um, or how things are working. So I figured a nice broken up example uh, on a page by page basis was gonna help everybody out. Uh, but if you do want some more uh, literature on this, uh, check out their documentation. Um, and I don't believe anything's changing in Bootstrap 4. So this should all apply to Bootstrap 4 when that comes out.